What's up guys, Solid Anthony, and welcome back to the Civic Vlog that you hopefully know and hopefully love. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a first look and unboxing of the new wheels for that little Honda Civic over there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into these glamour shots. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that little teaser there. Now, before I jump into the actual unboxing, I do want to cover a few things first. Number one, I am sick right now, so if I sound a little nasally, I'm sorry. Hopefully this cold will pass here soon. Number two, this is technically my first sponsored video uh, that I have to actually say this is a sponsored video. Koenig Wheels was kind enough to send these wheels out for me for this whole Project Clean Civic over here, and I couldn't be happier to be working with them. I absolutely love Koenig Wheels, as you know, I have them on the Evo here, and the fact that I'm gonna have them on the Civic is uh, amazing. I am super happy about that. All right, so if you're new to the channel and want some backstory on the Civic here, I highly recommend going back and watching my previous videos. This car has come a decent way from when I first got it, and I'm going for that uh, budget build. So kind of doing everything on a budget and keeping costs down low, I wanted to take something from a junker to something that I feel confident and comfortable driving in, just like I would this Evo over here. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so grab my knife here, carefully cut these bad boys open. And opening this up, it's kind of like Christmas morning. That's uh, kind of how I felt when I opened up the hypergrams on the Evo here. Um, it's always like Christmas when you have new set of wheels. So I'm gonna take this down here. All right, so first you're gonna have your little protective bear barrier here of cardboard, and then you're gonna have these beauties here underneath this plastic wrap. So pull this out of here. We'll get to the rest of that. Now open that up. Oh man. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for the longest time, you know, what wheels did I get? What wheels are these uh, that have been sitting in this box? I've kind of been teasing on Instagram uh, an effort to make a video like this to be able to show you guys, but uh, let's go ahead and open these things up. Oh gosh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Wow, and holy crap, these things are light. These things are so light. So um, if you've never seen these before, these are called Koenig Decagrams. These things weigh 11.75 pounds. Uh, wow. I mean, seriously, I feel like I can just huck this thing. It feels so light. But what these are, these are a 15 by seven and a half inch wheel. Uh, these are a 35 offset. I, okay, hold on. I can't get over how light this is. Like literally, I'm just picking this up. Dude, I can just pinky this thing. It's so freaking light. Holy crap, I, I, I can't get over that. That's really just blowing my mind. 11.75 pounds, that's pretty insane. Um, so anyways, back to it. Yes, 15 by seven and a half inch wheel, 35 offset. So it does have a 73.1 millimeter bore. Now, because of the bore being different, being 56.1 here to 73.1, I did have to order some hub centric rings that will be here before the install. Um, but taking a look at the wheel here though, the finish is, uh, I think if they call it semi matte black. So it's kind of more of a satin. It's not quite matte, it's not quite gloss, but this is what I like because basically gloss black scratches matte black can kind of look dingy so this is like that perfect middle ground but these are 4 by 100 they do have the area for the center cap here but gosh guys I really I just can't get over how light this is so on the wheel here you'll have the Koenig logo and then you'll have the flow form so this is the same thing that's on the hypergrams over here so if we come down here you'll see flow formed Koenig right there um, and then I think these share the same center caps if I'm not mistaken but now if you guys follow other car vloggers you'll know that these are actually the same wheels that Koenig sent out to Adam LZ for his Evo that he has in Connecticut so uh, kind of cool there but now on the wheel itself it's kind of cool uh, so you have your build date here so this is built 11 4 of 2018 so these wheels technically aren't even three months old which is uh, kind of funny but they look absolutely awesome. Next in the box here we have these center caps that are kind of taped to this bottom here. Pulling this out, so, okay, no, these are actually the same as the hypergram. So what you'll have 
is you'll have the center cap here that you would line up. They give you a little Allen wrench tool. And what you would do is you'd basically take it to where they have uh, two false bolts is what it is with these other two here. So you would take that last one and then kind of line that up and then screw those in. And then this just simply sticks onto that like that. Other than the hub centric rings, the other thing I need are tuner lugs here. I've had these lying around. I did have them on the Evo before I switched to the Gorilla lugs. So these will work perfect. Just little acorn lugs go right in black matches. Can't complain. Now what's funny is that a couple months ago, I actually made a poll on Instagram asking people, what wheels should I throw on the Honda Civic here? Uh, and people didn't really get the whole idea of the budget build. There were so many people that were like, throw TE37s on here, you know, throw some CE28s, throw Graham lights, all these expensive wheels that just didn't make sense. And then, I, you know, really ultimately, I knew I wanted to go with Koenigs. Um, you know, if I wanted to do a throwback, I was thinking about doing some Rota slip streams. And, and there's a few other choices that I do like on the 99 coupe here but when Koenig reached out and said hey we do have some stuff for the Civic when I saw the decagram I knew that's what I wanted which is hard though because if you guys know me you know how much I love the hypergrams here on my Evo like quite literally when I saw these wheels for the first time I was I, I was in love I knew that's exactly what I wanted now the hard part is that I didn't want to take away from the Evo. <laughs> you know, I love these wheels so much that I almost wanted to keep them for this car alone and then do something different on the Civic just to kind of add something, uh, something different. And that way I don't get sick of seeing these every day because I just absolutely love that color combination of that race bronze, graphite gray. Um, yeah, I, enough talking about these. But anyway, so the decagram I think is going to look absolutely awesome. I mean, there's really no way to mock this up yet. I mean, I can kind of stand right here, even though it is slick. Yeah, can't, can't really tell. Can't really tell at all, but I think it's gonna look good. So for the people out there that don't know what flow formed means, I thought I would give a little bit of background information on flow forming to the best of my knowledge. Now, flow forming is essentially a forging process. It's taking a wheel and elongating this barrel here to not only make it strong, but to make it extremely light. So what these wheels can do is take more of a beating out on the racetrack and also make for a lighter wheel for daily driving or whatever you may need. Now, other wheels that are flow formed, RPF ones are flow formed. I'm sure there's a lot of Volks out there that are flow formed. Um, it's a it's a lightweight wheel process, but also makes them strong. So these decagrams here being flow formed is kind of an obvious choice for the Civic here because guys, let's face it, the Civic is slow. That's got a 127 horsepower from the factory. God knows how much it would be on a dyno, but this this car is slow. Now what's funny is that when I throw the 14 inch <laughs> steelies on here with these snow tires, this car feels so much faster than it would when I throw on my LS wheels that I have over there. Now it really comes down to weight. This car is not fast, so it needs every little thing it can get to help it out to make it feel faster. When it comes to rotational mass, using something that's flow formed or choosing a lightweight wheel is going to make all the difference on a car like this. So I wanted to talk about tires for a quick second. So pulling these things down. Oh crap, these things are so much heavier than those. Uh, ah. So these are my LS wheels that I had. Holy crap, these things are dirty. Uh, my LS wheels that I had with the 205 50 15 tires on them. Now, the wheels themselves are beat to hell. These things are not clean. I would never consider these to be clean. They need to be completely refinished. Uh, but ultimately what I'm gonna do is I am going to salvage the tires off these. So the tires are still in decent shape and these are the right size for this 15 by seven and a half. If you can see right here, this being I think a six inch wheel or a six and a half inch wheel, I think it's a six inch. Um, you can see that this tire is kind of protruding over. This tire is too wide for this particular wheel. And I did that by accident back in the day, but it kind of worked out, you know, in this case right here. So I'm gonna transfer these over and that's gonna be a perfect fit for the decagrams. So I have a very busy week ahead with everything I need to do with the Civic. This is actually going to be the first of probably five videos I'm gonna be filming this week on the Civic alone. So yes, I'm going to have plenty of content coming up here. I'm finally back in town after traveling so much for work so I can knock this stuff out. I wanted to make this intro on these wheels just to kind of get these out there to show people what I chose and why I chose them. But ultimately, I still have to make a video on the coilovers I got 
Yes, coilovers, this thing is getting lowered uh, and I'm excited to introduce those. But then I also need to get these tires dismounted, get these onto the decagrams, figure out what to do with these LS wheels. Uh, and then I have to do the whole install on the coils and wheels at the same time. So I realize it is still snowy outside and everywhere in the US is in the middle of a winter storm, but I don't care, I'm just gonna send it. I wanna get these wheels and tires on here to see what this thing's gonna look like. All right guys, so I think that's going to wrap up this quick little vlog here. I'm glad I was able to unbox those decagrams and get those out there. I'm extremely excited to see what's gonna happen with the Civic. Like seriously, you guys are motivating the hell out of me to keep things going with this car uh, and keep pushing it to get cleaner and cleaner. And I think with these wheels and once it gets lowered, it's gonna be looking uh, pretty fresh. So if you guys want to stay tuned for more of these videos, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. It helps me, it keeps me motivated and it keeps me pushing to do more stuff and keep creating content for you guys. If you guys like this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Again, subscribe for more. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. This is all day, Anthony. Peace.